we are discussing about video solutions for gate 2012 ECE paper and the topic is electron devices we are in the series of two more questions the first two mass question asked in gate 2012 is for the given CMOS circuit electron and hole mobilities are equal and M1 M2 are equally sized the device M1 is in the linear region if a V input is less than 1.875 volts B V input is in between 1.875 and 3.125 volts C if V input is greater than 3.125 volts D if V input is between 0 to 5 volts look at the circuit there are two transistors one is P mass M1 is P mass transistor M2 is N mass transistor they are having equal threshold voltage of 1 volt and mu n and mu p are going to be same and w by l ratio width to length that is aspect ratio of both transistors are same all these things are given conditions we need to find out what is the input voltage range to be applied so that we can ensure m1 is in the linear region the correct answer for this one is a. When V input is less than 1.875, then M1 is definitely will be in linear region. Now look at the complete solution. This is the circuit given. And given mu n and mu p is equal to same. Given mu n is equal to mu p and W by L ratio of M1 and M2 are same and VTN is equal to VTP is equal to 1 volt all they are given that is nothing but M1 and M2 are perfectly matched whenever M1 and M2 are perfectly matched at that time logic threshold is going to be for exactly in the half of 0 to 5 volts so logic threshold appears occurs when V0 is equal to V input is equal to V inversion that is V threshold logic threshold is equal to 2.5 volts what is meant by this logic threshold logic threshold is nothing but this is the voltage from which if you apply less than the input voltage output will be more than that one inversion if you are applying more than this point at the time output will be less than this point so like this if V input is greater than 2.5 volts then V0 is less than 2.5 volts if V input is less than 2.5 volts then V0 is to greater than 2.5 volts that is opposite is going to be taking place since it is CMOS inverter opposition that is inverse operation takes place from this point onwards that's why this point is treated as logic threshold logic threshold is going to be exactly in the half of total voltage total voltage is VDD 5 volts VSS 0 total voltage is 5 volts so half of this one is 2.5 volts exactly at half you will get logic threshold otherwise it may be either above or below this 2.5 volts condition for M1 to be in linear region is get to source voltage should be more than the drain to source voltage since it is PMOS we are going to calculate like this VSD1 less than VSG1 plus VTP that one signifies we are dealing with M1 transistor that is PMOS so a transistor will be in linear region if the drain voltage is going to be less than effective gate voltage if the gate voltage if the effective gate voltage is less than or equal to VDS by that time the transistor will be in saturation region condition for M1 in linear region is VSD1 should be less than VSG1 plus VTP VSD1 you can write VS1 minus VD1 whereas VSG1 can be written VS1 minus VG1 plus VTP and remember that always for P mass source will be at more potential than drain voltage for N mass drain will be at more potential than source so for P 
PMOS this plus 5 volts is more positive voltage so this side is source and this side is drain and this is gate of M1 transistor so VS1 is nothing but source of M1 transistor that is 5 volts and VG1 is nothing but V input this is the point V input is nothing but VG1 VD1 drain of M1 transistor is nothing but this one which is nothing but V0 so VS1 VS1 will get cancels what you are getting is minus VD1 should be less than minus VG1 plus VTP if this condition satisfies then we can say that one M1 is in linear region the same condition can be written in this way also VD1 is greater than VG1 minus VTP for the given circuit VD1 is replaced with V0 and VG1 is replaced with V in by that time V0 should be greater than V input minus 1 this condition satisfies only for the V input less than 1.875 volts in our four options the right option for this one to satisfy this condition is V input is less than 1.875 then only you will get V0 more so the right answer is for the given question A V input less than 1.875